What's up guys, it's John from Tasty Squad coming at you with a new segment we like to call a Taste Test, which is just our fancy way of saying a first impressions video. Now today I'll be talking about the lesser known title, Origami, which the collector's edition just dropped today and I just got it, played a few missions, so I'm giving my initial thoughts on it. This isn't a formal review, this isn't anything, you know, no score, no nothing like that, nothing in depth, just quick, I like this, I don't like this, okay, cool, awesome, done. So let's start with the things I did not like about Origami. And again, this is just my initial gameplay. This is the first hour or two in. Not substantial, not enough evidence to hold it against the game yet review style. What I don't like about the game, first and foremost, is it's an indie title, so it's going to suffer from not having that AAA polish and that's that's the biggest thing I have against this game as of right now, which is a good sign, is that it's buggy and it has quite a bit of frame rate drops. But you know, they're never so bad and it never glitches up so bad where it takes away from the gameplay experience because these glitches and frame rate drops only occur for about two or three seconds and then you're right back to normal. It doesn't really halt you in any sort of way. It doesn't, you don't get stuck in walls or anything like that. Number two, and this is just in all stealth games, sometimes when you get caught, it's bullshit and it really pisses you off because there's no conceivable way on how that enemy should have saw you. And again, that's not just for origami, that's for all stealth games usually. But since it's happened, I'm going to talk about it. And number three, and this is a big one, now origami can be completely played co-op with a friend from start to finish, and that's awesome. But there are times when you fuck up and you want to start a mission over, but for some reason you can't do that while you're in the game with your friend. So both of you have to end up backing all the way out to the main menu. Whoever is hosting has to start up a whole new lobby and re-invite you again. Now that's not such a big deal, but it's a minor annoyance and that's something I didn't like. I didn't like having to go all the way back just to reload from a save point that would be easily done if I could just hit start and reload it from there. But instead you have to take like a whole extra minute to back out to the menu and then re-invite your friend and then restart up the game from there. It's bullshit. It's total bullshit. Now, as a far of things I didn't like, that's that's about it so far. I'm only five missions into the game, but those are really the only things that bother me. Oh no, 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 wait, there's one more thing. The reticle. For some reason the reticle is not center with you. When you're aiming, it's slightly to the left. So you'll have the character Origami, and the reticle will be like right next to the left side of his head, or right side of his head, depending on where you're looking. And it's annoying at first, but you get used to it. But it just, it's not something you should have to get used to. They should have just had it centered correctly, but they didn't. But again, minor annoyance. There's nothing really to make me hate this game. Now let's get on with some of the things I like. I like the gameplay. I like how it's a pure stealth game. There is no, oops, I fucked up, now I have to use regular attacks to whip ass. Not like Dishonored or Assassin's Creed where if you fuck up, you can get out of a situation by using your normal attacks. It's not like that here. Here, you gotta play stealthy the whole time or you're fucked. And I really like that because we need more pure stealth games because... You know, I love action, and I love stuff like God of War, obviously, but sometimes, you know, you need that game that takes it slow, and you take your time, and you have to study enemies, and that adds a whole new depth of gameplay experience that non-stealth games just can't deliver. That's what makes them unique, is you have to stick to the shadows, you have to wait for the right moment to strike, you have to plan what you're going to do next. So I really like the fact that this is an entirely stealth-based game, and you have to do it by the book, and you have to stick to the shadows. Number two, the powers are interesting, a bit like Dishonored with your shadow leaps and your blending into the shadow and that's how you recharge your powers. You got cool abilities, you can summon dragons and all kinds of cool shit. And I, I really liked the gameplay is solid. I also like that there's not really any HUD in this game, but how you see how much energy you have is Origami has a cape. And when you stand in the shadow, it recharges, and the white outlines on your cape grow brighter. I thought that was a cool way to include a power menu without actually creating a HUD. That's a very smart idea by the developers, and that is something I immediately noticed and thought was badass. And number three, the fact that this entire game from start to finish 
is a co-op experience. It doesn't have to be. You can play single player again from start to finish, but if you want to have a little bit of fun, invite a buddy or someone else who has the game, and you can play from chapter one all the way to the end with a friend, making it a little bit easier because you don't have to take on every enemy alone, but you know, at the same time, it's always fun to play with a friend, and I think this is how more co-op should be. They should be, you know, you can just play the game from start to finish with a friend. Not every co-op, obviously, but how most games should be. But anyway, guys, that's my first impressions of Origami. So far, I'm really liking the game. I'm not regretting my decision at all. I feel like it was well worth the $23 I spent on it. So if you like stealth games and you like something that's not so AAA without the polish, something indie-like, I recommend you go check it out. And I'll have a review for you soon, probably within the next week, because it's not a very long game. So just check back for that, and as always guys, just stay tasty.